celebrate the installment of the Davidson Public Arts Commission banner project. This project is a reflection of local and national events that have given all of us an opportunity to look within ourselves for opportunities of renewed commitment. This banner project aligns itself with the Town of Davidson strategic plan, which states, Davidson re remains committed to controlling our destiny as a distinct, sustainable, and sovereign small town. Our sense of community is rooted in citizens who respect each other in racial and socioeconomic diversity, in pedestrian and bicycle orientation, all in the presence of a small liberal arts college. Our history and character guide our future. At this time, I'm gonna turn this over to the chair of the Davidson Public Arts Commission, Sherry Nelson. Thank you again for being here. Thank you, Mayor Knox. And thank you to the Davidson Public Art Commission, Kim Fleming, the town's public works departments, and to all the artists who submitted work. It is an exciting day in Davidson. Today, we are celebrating public art and our town through the eyes of artists who responded to the commission's call for the following key ingredients. We believe reflect strong communities and our best selves. Love, peace, respect, empathy, justice, equality, equity, belonging, inclusion, unity, and understanding. The banners are an interpretation of how each artist sees our town through these essential elements. In our discussions last September, the commission was eager to respond to the events of the day through public art. We wanted to support artists and the ideals that we as a community hold dear. We invited artists of all ages who have an affiliation with our town or Davidson College past and present to make these concepts come alive through the creation of beautiful images. The commission selected 26 artists and we have placed their work throughout Davidson for public incitement and enjoyment. Each banner has a story to tell. The banners are beautiful, playful, fun, and thought-provoking. I would like to read a few excerpts from the artist statements. The first one is Marquia by Marquia Humphreys, Davidson College, class of 2022. Her piece is entitled Multifaceted and can be found on Main Street in front of the Belt Visual Arts Center. Multifaceted. This piece focuses on how individuals come together as a whole. Marquia goes on to state, a project like this is so important, especially in Davidson, where it can seem like only one voice is being amplified. Hopefully through this project, Davidson can move towards a more equitable, an inclusive community for everyone. The second artist is by Tyler Wilson, Davidson College class of 2016. My, look how far we've come, draws its design and concept from Southern signs enforcing segregation. In the town of Davidson, the railroad tracks along Main Street act as, a, as an unofficial dividing line demarcated predominantly white, wealthy neighborhoods from poor brown communities. Placing the text, colored waiting room, on the side typically reserved for white people highlights and interchanges that history. Upon closer reading, passersby see that the sign also emphasizes the progress that Davidson, the South, and the nation have made. A small moment, two sisters painting, Black Lives Matter. On the white side of the tracks is a grand indication of positive change. Tyler's banner is beside the Belt Visual Arts Center on Griffith Street. High school student Nate Watson, whose banner is hung in, da in Roosevelt Wilson Park, states, this project is important because everybody needs to accept one another 
and understand that we are more similar than different. Our youngest artist, Katie Keeley, simply states on her banner, I like the people of Davidson. Her banner is located in front of David, the Davidson College Bookstore on Main Street. Artist Patrick Harris painted a portrait of American poet, novelist, playwright, social critic, James Baldwin. His banner hangs in front of Main Street Books. Harris says, this project to me seems quite important at any time as the ideals it looks to champion are the essence of community and humanity. I will close with a quote today by James Baldwin from The Fire Next Time. Love takes off the mass that we fear we cannot live without and know we cannot live within. I use the word love here, not merely in the personal scent, sense, but as a state of being or a state of grace, not in the infantile American sense of being made happy, but in the tough and universal sense of quest and daring and growth, end quote. Please stay tuned for additional activities and information regarding the artists, their statements, and the banners. As you view these individual banners today, I hope you take time to see through the eyes of each artist and consider the reflections of our town. Thank you so much for coming.